I see you back there cutting up, Jenna. Okay, I see you back there cutting up. It's, all right, that's a beat. That's a beat. It's a little, yeah, it's a little bop. It's a little bop. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back to Soul Sister Survival. Okay, I am back with my soul sister, Jenna Boo. Okay, we are back. This is Survivor Season Forty Six, Episode Two: Scorpio Energy. Okay, um. We're going to get right into it, y'all, because we don't want this review to be uh, too long, any of that. Um, I know we already know y'all been waiting on the review, so somehow, here you go. You're welcome. You're welcome. And stay tuned through all of our reviews that we do of the season, because Jenna may have some tea for us at the end, you know? Jenna said she 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 be outside. Okay, let's just say it. Jenna be outside. Be outside. Be outside. outside. Okay, outside. Jenna be outside. And so she's been doing some things. Okay. So stay tuned all the way up until the season finale of us doing our reviews for survival. Okay. Yes. So first episode was good. We got an introduction to everybody. Of course, Jelinski got voted off, which <laughs> God bless him. God bless his soul. He was a cutie, but he had to go. Mm -hmm. Jelinski was mm -hmm. just not ready. I think that his britches was a little bit too big for him. <laughs> he wasn't ready. No, no, no. And the, reckon, realizing that he was 21, I was like, that's why he acted that all. Yeah. He, <laughs> he wasn't ready. <laughs> He's the type had Sandra, and I see a little bit of Sandra in Maria. Definitely, that, that queen definitely. Came out, and mm -hmm. she ate his ass up, and so you know, all yes, I can do is be better luck next time, Bucko. Better luck, <laughs> better luck tomorrow. <laughs> Love ya. <laughs> okay, y'all. So let's kind of go tribe by tribe. Okay. So, of yes, course, the episode please. starts off, we starting off with the Yanu tribe, okay? The Yanu tribe, mm -hmm. I don't want to call them losers, but as of right now, they are the losing team. Where's the team spirit? Where's the team spirit? They don't believe in themselves. They don't. That's okay, so this is the Yanu tribe. Now, okay, like I said, we lost Jelinski from the Yanu tribe. We got Banu. Now... Banu is meditating. He's got to get his mental That's health right. together because once again, like Jelinski, I feel like he wasn't ready for it. Okay. Mm -mm. For somebody who's, who's not used to the art of scheming and manipulating and watching out and different things like that, this is going to be a struggle for him. He's only a few days in and it's already a struggle for him. Yeah. You know, and so much so to where Banu is reaching out to Kenzie and is like, what do I need to be doing? What, what What's going on with all this? I mean, the whole, the tribe as a whole, they're just down in the dumps. They still ain't got no flint. They ain't got no fire. No they, fishing gear. No fishing gear. They hungry. They cold. They can't even warm up water. Thank God it's not like naked and afraid. They actually have a well <laughs> to go to. You know what I'm saying? To get some fresh water. But they, they just kind of asked out right now. And they wasn't ready for that. And so there's a even, point. I'm sorry, go even ahead. Co even Coach Q can't wrangle the team together. Like Coach Q be giving some speeches. Like, and, and I got to get up and ready, Coach Q. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, but, you just know, can't, it's, no, <laughs> it's, it's, it's beating him down too. He don't know yeah. like... It's, and it's got to be hard when you're losing like that. You, your morale is down. Ain't, mm -hmm. ain't, ain't nobody there with it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's sort of Definitely. Off. So there's a there comes a point at the Yanu tribe where you have Jess, Banu, and Kenzie sort of go off and they have a little conversation, right? Now, you know I was saying last week, Kenzie's my girl. Mm -hmm. I like Kenzie. Mm -hmm. I'm right for Kenzie. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of got to put my foot in my mouth with this because 
I don't like the little shady shit she tried to pull with trying Between. to and Ken's yeah, we're trying to pull in Jess and Banu. Okay. With the whole, you know, we could potentially pull off a blind side type thing. Now, Q and Tiffany were your number ones. Last week. <laughs> like last week, right. 30 minutes ago, girl. <laughs> 30 minutes ago, talking. girl. Yesterday, girl. Earlier, girl. But now all of a sudden, you're already trying to plant it in their head to pull off a blind side. Mm -hmm. Now, this is why I say um, Jess and Jess as well. I like Jess. After this episode, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I had Jess back. Me I too. had Jess back. Me I too. Like they, did her, they did her dirty. They did. And they kept talking down. They were some assholes to Jess. I'm sorry. They were. They they All of them. All of them were some assholes to Jess. She did not goddamn deserve that. And she's strong. She didn't break down and cry. At least from what we've seen, she didn't break down and cry not one time. And she was, she delirious. was delirious. Uh, remember in the first episode, she couldn't sleep. For like yeah. 72 hours or something wild. So she's yeah. also sleep deprived. And she's eating ants. For she the protein. For the protein. Eating ants. I'm, I'm sure she probably had to eat about 50, 11, 100,000 of them. <laughs> this to equal about 100 calories. But I appreciate her enthusiasm. No, you know, I ain't mad at her for that. But like I say, they they all, you know, Kenzie tries to plant this seed in Jess and Banu's head about a possible blind side, right? Now, being that Banu and even Jess, they're not really gamers. They're not really they're both, into this. They're no. both liars right now on complete opposite ends. Like they I don't even see them thinking strategically at any not, point. They're not even talking strategically to anybody. It's almost like even like Tiffany was like, girl, you gotta speak up. <laughs> like last week talking about Jess, she did, and that's why Tiffany checked out immediately because what if you don't know what's going on, and that's this mm -hmm. whole I think this is that time when Coach Q was like deciding, oh well. At some point, he's saying he has to babysit Jess. Like, they yeah. just keep infa infantizing Jess. And Jess is her own woman. She's 37, for goodness sake. Like, she's she she's just, I think she's just a quiet player. I think yes. she's just a quiet player, and she takes a lot of things internally. And she's also in shock, you know, could be. But, mm -hmm. like, just because somebody's quiet doesn't mean they're not playing the game. We've seen... Yeah. We've seen sneak attacks happen. Mm -hmm. So that, that I think they were just talking out their ass. If you're telling me they were pretty arrogant, the three they Kinti were and Coach Q. And like trying to handle her with kid gloves and all that. Like, I don't, mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't like that at all. I don't, I, I didn't like that. I it don't was think very... it was fair. Like, at no. what did you do other than you think of her being weak? And Thank at the you. same time, you think Coach Q is going to lead you in for victory, but y'all still have lost. So what's the difference between Coach Q and Thank Jess? You. <laughs> like, That's what I was saying. Unfair. You know, yes. I even though, don't get me wrong, you know, I'm rooting for everybody black. But at the same time, <laughs> no, at the same time <laughs> I got to call a black spade a spade. spade and you're definitely. right, they were real cocky with her and handling her with kid gloves and basically everything is her fault and shit. I didn't like that. I didn't like. That. It's almost like like none of the rest of them took accountability for themselves for as well. It's like who the hell? Exactly. I'm sorry to make it y'all. No, I was just saying like I guess the only person who felt accountable uh, was Tiffany. Yeah, that was the I, only and, one. But yeah, and we're gonna get into that when we uh, get mm -hmm, to talk about mm -hmm. the challenge because I I like that. I like how she recognize that and how she let them emotions out and all that. I like that. Now, the thing I didn't like when Kenzie brought to Jess and to Banu about the possible blind side, what does Jess do? Jess go run straight to Q and let Q know about what Kenzie said. Now, I get it in regards to you know, you you want to sort of maybe build some sort of alliance with somebody. You want to be able to, you know, go back and tell this information because you want to be able to build that trust with somebody. 
Mm-hmm. But the way she did it, mama, you literally <laughs> walked away from Kenzie and walked straight to Q. Like Kenzie couldn't see you. Girl, it's like the information <laughs> wasn't even lukewarm in your ears yet. And you took it and you ran straight to Q, which ultimately that, that looked bad on you. You know what I mean? I will yeah. say, though, it did make Q sort of perk his ears up a little bit like really okay because both and um tiffany as well tiffany and q even had their own little conversation where they They were like she's she's real sociable she's moving around from person to person we got to kind of watch out for her and he was right on that because the bitch is up there on the top of the hill plan to put one of y'all out and she said that at the very beginning during her own little talking head segment, because it was her and Banu like getting emotional. Yeah. I was like, what the hell? Uh, and I think there was, at least when from I- the Yanu tribe. And uh, she was like, yeah, I'm a social butterfly. My my thing is to make friends with everybody. Everybody yes, loves me. Mm-hmm. That's, right. That is, that's right. That's right. She connected it to her job. Like you have yes. to become personable with people. So she's trying to use that as her strategy, but I think it's uh, spreading too fast, too mm-hmm. and too far. You know, like yeah. it, like that that alliance hasn't even been warm yet between you and Tiffany. That's right. And then, so Jess brings it to Q. Q learns of this information. Q takes it to Tiffany. And then, what made me think about it, though? Okay, if they would have. <laughs> been down with the blind side she would have took tiffany out because she know tiffany has that that um immunity advantage yeah and as soon as she said that about the blind side i say okay now i'm watching this bitch because if they would have agreed to the blind side you would have took tiffany out because don't nobody but you and her know that she has that advantage does q know maybe q knows i don't know no i don't remember I don't remember either, but I know she would have used that to take Tiffany out. And I'm glad they didn't fall for it. I'm glad they went back and, you know, or at least Jess did, went back and told Q, like, hey, look. After that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta watch home, girl, over here. I don't trust that hoe. I don't trust that hoe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so True. we got the Nami tribe, okay? <laughs> Nami. <laughs> Nami, 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 Nami. They got their own little chant and all that. I ain't mad at them, okay? If you don't remember who the the Nami tribe, of course, is so that's <laughs> Tevin. Tevin is my number one on Big Purr, okay? Tevin is still my number one. Venus, Randon, Liz, and Hunter, okay? Now, over here at the Nami tribe, you got Hunter and Tevin and Soda. Of course, they're cracking jokes about the different competitions and how crazy they are and, you know, pretending like Jeff is saying, for this competition, you're going to have to catch fish with a toothpick or something. You know, they're just cracking <laughs> little jokes, keeping up the morale of the camp. Their camp actually seems like it's kind of fun. And it seems like it's fun because of Tevin. Because he, as Venus calls him, Venus calls Tevin the, he's sort of the king of the camp, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, over here at this camp, I feel bad for Venus because much like Jess, nobody's really sort of given Venus a chance for anything. Mm -hmm. They don't even, and I watched, I watched this episode twice. I don't know what it is. Just like sort of Jess. I don't know what it is specifically that makes people feel like uh, I can't trust her. Other yeah, I don't know what it is either. I think it's just her being quiet and like yeah. really think about it. Like some people think that if you're being quiet, you're just stuck up and no. just. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. I, I know that's why I said. Other than the fact is she is it, because she's beautiful, the taller. You don't yeah, trust her, but like why? Intimidating or. Yeah, so I just because she hasn't done anything. She hasn't lied. She hasn't done anything to to make her target to seem sneaky or anything. So, and neither no. has Venus. Mm-mm. No, not nothing mm-hmm. at all. I don't. I don't see in the in Randon of all people. Well, really, Randon and Tevin. They like are the two of the most. Like, nope, I don't trust her. None of that. Like, they're not even 
trying to give her the time of day as for getting into any sort of conversations. And That's I feel right. bad for her for that because like she's like she's saying, you know, in her everyday life, she feels like she has to be strong and, you know, put on this facade. She's a child whatnot. of immigrants. Yes, exactly. That's her story, so she, so she knows be... what the struggle is. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so I feel bad for her. She's she sort of came out here to the camp as a survivor with that same mentality and that's working but, against her. And, but in that talk, in that self-talk, there's a fire rumbling within her. Mm -hmm. It's almost like at her at her lowest, she's conjuring mm -hmm. something, she's creating something, and then all of a sudden, Randon comes up to her. Or at like least wait, we <laughs> like before he comes up to her, there was a whole adventure with him. Yes. Well, yeah. Well, Randon, he he goes and he, you know, he searches for the idol, of course, and he finds the beware advantage. And I feel like he 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 had to tell somebody. Yeah. And that's the only one he halfway trusted because he didn't trust nobody else. Mm -hmm. And he was even talking down on Venus, how much he doesn't trust her and this, that, and the other. But he now goes to her and tells her that he has this beware advantage, which I hope that works in Venus's favor. Me I'm too. sorry, Randy. I do too. I, I, yeah, because you're only <laughs> telling her for your own selfish reasons, which I mean, I get it. It's Survivor. Everybody's giving everybody mm -hmm. information for their own selfish reasons. But of course, you don't even right. like the girl. You don't even goddamn like her. And, and just feeding her just this tale of whatever because she gets so excited to the point where she thinks it's hers <laughs> like she she sees like, it's no, an idol. i'm like oh no you don't have an idol baby you know about an idol <laughs> you're idol adjacent <laughs> close but no cigar, my goodness um, but see, it's already episode two and people are feeling the pressure already mm-hmm I don't know what it is. I, it, they just already feeling the pressure. So, well, it's like it. I, I'm sure it's so much adrenaline and excitement going mm -hmm. through. Too. They trying to experience every little bit they can. But if you watch Survivor, if nothing else, you know you got to kind of take it easy a little bit. You can't go in that bitch gung ho. Because so, <laughs> you'll be know, the first one out. Exactly. Really, it's like double dutch. You gotta like wait for the right, get the yeah. rhythm, get the Don't rhythm. Go <laughs> Don't go in there just 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 thinking that you're gonna get it because like Jalinski, you're gonna crash and burn, baby. So you gotta be careful with that. Okay. Um, let me see. So okay, so yeah, we have um Randon. He finds the immunity. Uh, well, he finds the beware advantage, of course. And of course, you know, the beware advantage is it's, it's the advantage itself is in this lock box. He won't get the next step on how to find out how to unlock the lock box until his tribe loses an immunity challenge. As long as his as long as their tribe keeps on winning, he's good because they ain't going to tribal council. But they had no... Oh, wait, he did. I was about to say they haven't been looking, but he did. But like I was going to say, there hasn't been like a rush like on the other two tribes to look for or maybe even on the there just hasn't been a rush to look for an immunity idol because they've been winning. So like yes. the the energy is completely different on a winning tribe <laughs> versus it's right. it's, a lot yeah. of anxiety there. So everyone's still getting along. It's kumbaya. That is Have true. Brandon, <laughs> Brandon and Venus are the only two people that have mentioned anything on mm -hmm. that tribe about an immunity, about an idol. Soda hasn't mentioned nothing. Hunter, mm -hmm. nor Tevin, none of them have. So you're right. They're comfortable with women. So they're not even thinking about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Got to be quick on your feet, man. You got to be quicker <laughs> than that. I didn't even think about that. But yeah, you're right. You're right. So that was that. Okay. That's with the Nami tribe. With the Sega tribe, I like. Ben. Ben is so ADHD. And I love it. Ben and is Prada like a, is so yes, proud. he's like the yeah. rock and roll rocker guy. If you don't remember who, who that tribe is. <laughs> ben, Charlie, Jim, Maria, Mariah, and Tim, right? Okay. So Ben made fire for the tribe. Yeah. I thought it was 
it even kind of got me a little lump in my throat to see him mm -hmm. crying. He was so proud of himself because he had made that fire. Because, you know, like he, you know how they get into telling people stories about when they grew up and different things like that. He had different struggles like that when he grew up. And so the, him making that fire was a really big deal for him. And like I said, it almost made me want to cry because he cried. He got so emotional Thank from you. that because he was able to provide something for some for the rest of the tribe that everybody needed. And that just made him feel so whole. And I love seeing that from him. Shout out to you, Ben. I love that. I, I know. I, I think Ben is, has a heart of gold. Yes. Um, and he, he will need to play tough to stay in this game. But he just reminds me of a kid I, who probably I would have been friends with in third grade. Yeah. You know? Just, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Like just, he, he seems very uh, relatable. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Um, and you, you do want to see him succeed because he has had a hard time. He was mm -hmm. talking about he got made fun of for his ADHD mm -hmm. and was bullied, but he still found a way, his path. So for a man to find, finally find the time to provide for a, a tribe mm -hmm. is, is phenomenal. That That is, it's it means a lot because I know a lot of men these days are having to struggle with what is manhood. Mm -hmm. So for Ben, that was a really huge, uh, I think, confidence boost because i yep. think they did great in the challenge <laughs> yeah exactly and exactly. he gave them fire and they're all feeling human now and yeah, yeah i was proud of him, him for that shout Me out too. to you ben i was very very proud of him now you have um charlie and his angels <laughs> okay which i thought was really really cute you know was it maria mariah and what was the other girl's name jim jungle jim yeah, jungle jungle Jim. Jim. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so Charlie and his angels, quote unquote, mm -hmm. they have an alliance, right? But there's also an alliance within that alliance that Charlie is trying to form with, um, is it Maria? Maria. Mm -hmm. Now, Maria is like the Sandra to me of, mm -hmm, of this mm -hmm, season mm -hmm. of Survivor. And I get Charlie. You need it's good to have these other alliances, but you do need that one person that show Rada that regardless of what they gonna That's have what your he said. back, and you gonna have his back. He said, "I and, need my ride or die." <laughs> yes. And I feel like it always needs to be. I don't know how it is when when um when people first get to Survivor, like if. If y'all are all in a room before y'all split up right. and get the to go out, or do y'all all meet up at the airport, however it is. But me in my head, because you know, we are super fans of Survivor and I've always wanted to be on Survivor, <laughs> but a bitch can't swim. I would start making alliances from the before, like, yeah, before from the gate, from, the literally island. from the gate, literally at the gate. I'd be asking people on the plane, you flying to back? You flying? You got okay, bet we on a lot, but it all, I feel like it always has to be. <laughs> I'm serious, bitch. I'm gonna have a line since before I get in there. Y'all ain't gonna know it, but I feel like the best alliances are two totally different people people that you don't expect, that you have mm -hmm. no clue expecting. Nope. I think of Boston Rob and his wife, Amber. Uh -huh. I think of Boston Robin Amber because I think I forgot how they started. I don't know if they were on separate tribes, but they eventually they were on separate tribes. Least, yep. And then they met each other through the merge in that way, uh -huh. and like, and then they split up again. You just have to maintain. Like yep. he had to reach out and really stretch himself to trust somebody else to save her, and they did. And then he screwed that person out, but. But like, yep, you really right. have to for you got to try anything. Throw the noodles against the wall. See what sticks. You have yeah. to try anything. So that's a good. Hopefully, that's a good ride or die alliance. I think right there. so. I mean, I think Maria is solid. Maria is solid, but Charlie, he's one you're gonna have to kind of sort of watch because he's, he's a nice young. guy and he's young. And last mm. week we said he was easily manipulative, but now he's playing the game. Yeah. So. That's what I said. When he said that, I was like, you know what? Don't let it get to emerge because Venus is going to be on that ass. <laughs> Venus going to get your ass. If y'all get Definitely. to emerge, 
baby. It has, be, it has to be a masculine and feminine energy. It doesn't necessarily yeah. have to be gender, male or female. It really yeah. has the yin and yang. Really has to yes. be that ride or die. And it really is opposites attract. So I think a Siri, I think a Siri <laughs> and her, I don't know how many seasons, but she always matched up with somebody that was definitely not her equal. Not, her, no, at all. Yes. Now, you know what will be a bomb ass alliance is Maria and Tevin and Tiffany. That would be a bomb ass alliance. I was thinking, right I was thinking so that's one off of each tribe? One off of each tribe, yep. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was I was gonna say Venus and Tevin and Maria, but Venus and Tevin are on the same. Yeah, yeah. You know, Venus and Maria would even be a good ass alliance. Cause I wouldn't expect I, that. I, and even then, even Venus and Tevin, I think I said that last week. I said the main character, main character alliance, those are the two like you just they got the same. It's almost like telepathic. Just they're thinking yeah. the same way. But I think Maria and uh, I, Maria and Tevin, I think, or maybe Charlie Maria and who knows. But I, I think the strongest person on Yanu right now is Tiffany. Yeah, yeah, it absolutely. Ain't even Coach Q. It ain't even I mean, the bro. No, it ain't Coach Q. No, I, no, <laughs> tea, no, tea, no pink lemonade, Coach Q. Maybe you're gonna pull through in the next couple episodes. But right now, <laughs> I, I just. Anybody no. but Tiffany is on the chopping block based off of her advantage. That's yeah. how I see y'all new. But Tiffany is still, she's still, you know, in a good running. Um, <laughs> another thing that I thought was really cute was when Charlie and Ben. Now, you know, Char Charlie oh is. Oh, my God. I, that was so fun to me. But it was a good strategy. Charlie said, I like, I'm a nerd, so I got to, like, he has to put little nerd things out there to see who mm -hmm. catches what. He was talking about cosplaying and, and something else. And and then Taylor Swift, that's all he had to say was Taylor. He had to bring up music. That was the main thing. Yeah, He brought up music and Ben's ears perked up. Yeah, Pass the time. How do y'all pass the time on Survivor? This is what they do. <laughs> that was that was really cute. I like that because again, yeah, they're bored as hell. They need something to do to pass the time, so they going song for song. The, what what did they get up to? Like a hundred and like a hundred. Uh, I was I think it was tied to one hundred and six <laughs> apiece. So Charlie picked T Swift, and Ben picked Metallica. Metallica, yeah. And it was back and forth, even. Even the acoustic versions, even yeah. the the Taylor's version versus acapella, like every, even the cool. worst albums. If you like, that's the that's the deep cut. If you could pull the singles from the worst album, like <laughs> then you're almost at the bottom of. They went toe to toe, um, but Charlie won. Charlie won with one. He got one more. And then the end of him, like, you know, you know, <laughs> like you know, Ben, he said another T Swift song. Yeah. And he listened until he said it. So the final was I was like, oh yeah. A 108. He <laughs> He's like, bitch, come at me. Come at me, bro, about Taylor Swift. And I, I know. To tell you, I didn't know T Swift had that many songs. So that kind of Neither. That kind of shifted. I didn't either. I, T Swift. I'm gonna give credit where credits due. Yeah, I mean to compete against Metallica. Yeah, which is at least 30 years before you even started your career. I know. I, I didn't. I didn't know Taylor Swift had that <laughs> many songs. No T, no shade. No shade. But I did not know she had that many songs. I'm still Beehive all day. Day, all day. It was, yeah, it was. I, I thought it was really fun watching them go back and forth. I agree. Song song. That was because really cute. Said, I think Ben said, if I was in any other setting, somebody would have been like, Ben, shut the hell up. Yeah. But not on Survivor. <laughs> like Tim was geeking out. I think um, Maria or somebody, I think Mariah probably said something like, oh, yeah, it was Mariah. She's like, what else will we do on Survivor? Like, I am complete. Like, I don't think there would have been a better setting to do something like yeah. that. And I was, I was hoping there was going to be another one. There probably were, but 
editing. So we only got one. I like that. That was that was really fun. And I'm glad that that they sort of had that little bonding. That's right. And again, you know what? I didn't even think about it. Why wouldn't Charlie reach out to Ben? Because that's a complete opposite. And that he seems true. solid too. I wasn't even thinking, but if you go Taylor Swift versus Metallica, how are those not two completely opposite people right there? You know, they should have a line. There's fans that have a Venn diagram that cross over. <laughs> Metallica Taylor. Metallica <laughs> Swift. That's the alliance right that's, there. That's Metallica the, Swift. The new tour. That's the new tour. <laughs> <laughs> Metallica Swift. I ain't even mad at him, okay? <laughs> All right, girl. So let's get to this challenge, okay? Let's get to this damn challenge. Now, I <laughs> so you have the first two tribes walking in, right? You know, the two winning tribes is the Sega tribe and what is it? The Sega tribe, Nami, and the Nami tribe. Okay, they mm -hmm. walk in, they feeling themselves, they happy. Mm -hmm. Then the Yami <laughs> tribe comes <laughs> in, Titan thing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I said, okay, y'all feeling y'all got damn self. All right. <laughs> so as the Yanu tribe come in, automatically they seen Jelinski is voted out, and all the other the other two tribes is like, what? Yeah. No. What? Like I, it surprised me. Down. It surprised Mouth me that they were so surprised. I'm me like, too. I thought it was in the. I thought it was in. I thought. I thought they could tell. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't everybody meet Jelinski at some point? <laughs> That's what I said. I was like, no shade. Like, no shade. Yeah. But no. <laughs> why did y'all think he wasn't going to be gone? <laughs> what made you think homeboy was going to live to fight another day? That's what I'm saying. What, like, and then what I didn't like is the, the cracking jokes on the, the Yanu tribe. When the other two tribes could clearly see that Yanu was in their feelings. Defeated. You know what I mean? Yeah, they feel defeated. defeated. They haven't had no food besides the rice mm -hmm. that the you know NBC or whatever gives them. Because let's keep it real, they get rice and they get water. They get a little bit of rice and they get water. Paramount, okay? Paramount, CBS, Paramount. Paramount, my bad, my bad, my bad, oh, my bad. That's no right. But do not get CBS and NBC mixed. <laughs> listen, Probe C. I don't want no problems, Probe C. Sorry, sorry, dimples. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry Posey, no shade. But um, they were defeated. Like I said, they haven't won anything. They cold at night. They ain't got no fire to warm up nothing. They ain't got no fish nuts. So they, they can't down. be trusting anybody. They just they don't be trusting nobody. They just busted and untrusted <laughs> right now. So when you get the other two trees, teams, I mean, the other two tribes just talking shit, laying into them, saying little snappy things. Baby, yes. Banu, Banu, I was like, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. He got so upset to where he was shaking Banu at the other two The tribes. meditation didn't ground him. He no, just couldn't get I was like, what happened to them shackles? Because that thing came out of line. He was like... I am not thinking about food. I am thinking of winning. I'm like, God damn. Take a sip or a drag anytime Bono gets emotional. You're going to be fucked up by the end of the episode. Girl. Game to play during. Take a shot every time Bono gets emotional. You're going to be sitting sideways by the end of the episode, child. He got so emotional. <laughs> he was he was he was fighting mad. He was ready to um yeah, he was ready to fight some damn body. Mm -hmm. And then Soda. I don't like how Soda was. Soda's my girl, no shade. But yeah, yeah. She kind of was getting irritated with the Yanu tribe, getting irritated for the <laughs> other two tribes making fun of making fun of them. I don't, I didn't understand why so I, I, mad. I'm like, girl, y'all started picking with them. Y'all started making cracking jokes on them. So of course they're gonna be emotional and, and they're gonna say something back. But why are you upset? Y'all y'all won. 
Y'all want to shit that can't take it. She got real upset, so I was like, girl. <laughs> sit down, soda girl. You yeah, don't do yeah, that. Soda. Have a soda. You know, you know. <laughs> so it was a super physical challenge, okay, that they had to do. They had to, was it they had to? Oh, uh, right. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> girl. The, 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 it, okay. the word said it all, okay? <laughs> They had to, first of all, build a wagon, get the puzzle pieces, and this is a new challenge on Survivor. I've never seen this challenge. Oh, okay, before. okay. This is a new okay, challenge. Good. I they like it. I really like this one. Word. Yeah, I liked it too. I liked it, and I was getting into it. Every yeah, time they were close. I had, I, was, I had to leave. I was like, it's getting neck and neck, and I just I just can't. When it gets I, to I the got so damn frustrated. I got to leave. <laughs> I got fucking frustrated. So they had to spell out persistence, but they had to make it like a bridge. Each they had to hold it up until they got the yeah. word spelled That's out. Over there, they has to stay up there mm -hmm. in the air. Everybody got to get back on the mat, and they got to stay up there in the mm -hmm. air. Right? Each try was neck and neck and like like it was everybody was in first at some point, and then one side fall get too heavy people were struggling with it people get the words the letters were in the wrong way or they were flipped the wrong way because there's two colors it had to be perfect was, not yeah. they had it and they didn't have that letter right they they misspelled it so they had to start over again like it wasn't guaranteed who who's when mm -hmm. was this one today? So it was actually a pretty fair shot for everyone, including yes. Yanu. And yeah, Yanu, I, had, yeah. Yanu was there at, at two. So yeah, yeah it, each tribe was in the lead at one point in time. And I, I just thought it was over from the first time when Nami got over there. Uh, I was mm -hmm, like, then, but mm -hmm. I looked, I was like, that ain't persistence. That's persistence, insist. Like, <laughs> you ain't even having the right place. So as soon as they had to knock it down, then here comes Sega. Sega, they damn near have it, then it fall. And the block pieces look like they're heavy as hell, right? Yeah, they do. So, big old wooden blocks on. Big old ass blocks. Just on the back so, of your neck. Yeah. You got the Yanu tribe. They trying to hold it together. They trying to get it. Now, each time a piece fell, it's like they can't blame a Jess. Now, yeah, they did. They I did. Will say, even Banu. Even Banu. <laughs> you see the picture that I got of him down here? The way that fool was yelling at Banu yelled at her at Jess. <laughs> Tiffany yelled at Jess. I'm the challenge if I was Jess. If y'all just keep blaming me for shit, I would have thrown it. I as am doing as I am. Baby, as I black as I am. Best I can with what I got. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> as black as I am, I'd say, you know what? Fuck this challenge. Fuck y'all. Y'all can do all of this. I'm tired of this, Jeff. Probesy, I'm you're cool. You're cool, Probesy. Fuck you. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this shit. I'm out. I ain't got to deal with this. My husband worked two jobs. So let me stop. <laughs> Please, this was just Girl, for an experience. <laughs> this was, the, it, I was frustrated watching it, right? But like I said, I get mad that they kept blaming Jess for everything. Yes. Now, granted, I mean, Jess wasn't the only one. Y'all asking like Jess was the only one out there and she had to spread her whole arms holding everything and like, because all y'all have broken legs. Like, everybody made a mistake. And so now everybody. Jess is the scapegoat. Okay. Everybody okay. made mistakes. Unfair. Now, Gretchen, there was some times that maybe she had both hands on one block and could have stretched here. But again, those pieces look heavy as hell. She and she's the shortest one at Sega, Sega, and Yanu. It was always the shortest girl having to put the highest lead last the highest one. Up. Uh, it was the eye. Now to put that eye, it was like, how did the short girl get stuck <laughs> with this job? Who is who's leading the tribe right now? None of y'all are. None of them are exactly. But you put the shortest girl to do the the biggest job and fussing at her and shit, right? So of course, during finally, 
month. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, you know, it, it, it comes down to it. And of course, um, Nami wins first place. Of course. Of course. Siga win second place. Oh, it was funny when they gave the uh, the the immunity yep. yeah. trophy. Back, yeah, it had a little Yanu band yep. on it, and then Jet Probes he took it off, but they put it right back. On. They all did. And like, huh? you took that off. This is another one. Put it right back on his head. I was like, okay, I ain't even mad at y'all for that. They said that not at our all. Immunity monkey. Okay, he's our That's immunity right. monkey. Um. <laughs> So Banu and Tiffany were very emotional afterwards. Tiffany yes. was so pissed she couldn't even speak. Say anything. Mm -mm. Didn't say anything. Didn't want to look at anybody. Didn't, That's how mad she was. Didn't, yeah, and she didn't I even, felt that. I felt that. She wants it so bad. You can tell she's an athlete. You could tell she's competitive. I felt that she too. So but I, I, again, I don't like how... Jeff asked Tiffany Jess. how you feel. She was like, I'm I I, just, I don't even want to talk. I don't even oh. want to say nothing at all. And then Jess is like, she's gonna give me a spanking when I get back. <laughs> the way she said that, I was like, Oh, po baby. I feel bad for her. She's like, Yep, they're mad at me. Jess, she's no, Jess, it just wasn't you though. It wasn't just you, it was the and whole I wish, team. I wish she would have had the balls. And been like, you know what? To hell with y'all. Y'all can kiss my goddamn ass. Because it wasn't just me. Okay? Q, you, you an athlete. Tip, you an athlete. Banu, you got all this goddamn passion. You should have been packing three four fucking things on your back. Passionate persistence, sir. Okay, persistent. Hello, motherfuckers. I done shit that baby. I done got black. All kind of ethnic on their goddamn ass. Okay? So, when they get back, um... Which I'm not surprised. I mean, I w I'm surprised because Jess is from San Francisco. How come she wasn't black? <laughs> that's such a joke. That's such a that's a Bay Area joke. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying hello, motherfuckers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Um, Nami Tribe. They're enjoying their new fishing gear, or whatnot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, let me see. And Venus. See oh yeah. Okay, we already oh, know yeah, Venus. Go ahead. So I'm sorry. Go ahead. What were you saying? No, I'm sorry. I was just saying Sega got second. I thought yeah. you were, but you're and y'all knew and all them. So what was it saying? Young tribe. Venus. Okay, so y'all knew when they get back to their tribe, of course, they're going to tribal council. When they got back to the tribe, Tiffany automatically just breaks down. She's super emotional. Here go Banu asks, you can what? <laughs> What are you mad? You did a you, you, you did a buzzer. <laughs> I was like, God damn, sir. And she just couldn't hold it. She just couldn't. <laughs> that would be laughing if Bonnie like scared, shocked me. Like <laughs> she just couldn't hold it any longer. She was just so angry that she just had to cry. I'm like a mug. I done chuckled all up in his goddamn face. And that shit was wild. But I do like how Tiffany recognized that she snapped on mm -hmm. Jess. That she let her emotions get the best of her. And I feel what she said because this Me is something too. that I I deal I with. I get this at work. I, I get this. It, yep. You I don't want to snap on somebody. Yes. You, you don't want to snap on somebody and then have that look of you being the angry black woman. That's something yep. that I have to check myself on a All the daily time. basis at work, today at work. Okay? Making sure I say the right thing so that Monique is speaking and not Mo because Mo don't give a damn. But that's yes, something that I deal with all the time. And has to have patience when it, interacting with people. Otherwise, Jay show up and uh, the party's over. <laughs> okay. You don't want Jay Bay Bay. <laughs> Jay Bay Bay. Or Jade off. Like oh, Jade off comes out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. So I do like how Tiffany recognized how that's a huge ownership as yes. even us as black women and even us as women and women watching this but definitely black women because again mm -hmm. there's not a lot of black people that participate in survivor so even in the survivor super fam 
world. We're a minority already. So yeah. for her to be strong enough and vulnerable to admit that, yes, she she didn't like how she was upset, how she let herself go yes. to be yes. that angry black woman. And it's just a personal struggle. But this is what the beauty of Survivor is. The island brings out your trauma and allows you to face them head mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. for her to forgive herself. That was a huge gift in that loss for her. Yeah. So I, I, I see you, Tiff. Just know yes. that we see you. And, and I that was huge, that. Yep. huge growth in that moment. So congratulations for facing that. I'm, I'm proud of her for that too. Um, I wonder, did she have a conversation with Jess at some point, of course, that they didn't air? Mm -hmm. on on tv um i hope they did have some sort of conversation you know at least for understanding between the both of them like tiffany saying like look i didn't i let my emotions get the best of me and i snapped and you know what i'm saying and the same for you know same for jess like look i i i, I need to check myself on some things as yeah. well or you know whatever but i hope they did have a um a heart to heart nice conversation heart -to -heart. On one mm -hmm. side. yeah so, oh, Lord, Tiffany and Kenzie come up with an idea to try to throw Jess off because ultimately they want to vote Jess out at tribal council. And, of course, Jess is going to try to do anything that she can to try to save faith. Rightfully, rightfully so. As she should. As she should. They don't want Jess to play her shot in the dark, right? So Kenzie and Jess come up with the idea that they're going to make a fake idol. Fake idol time, fake idol on episode two. I had never seen a fake idol by episode two. <laughs> Another survivor standard. So we got the advantage hunts and now they created a fake immunity idol survivor <laughs> standard. <laughs> now, this is the thing. Bless Jess' heart because she just yeah. so airy in the head. She just wasn't getting the clues. Like they were literally trying. Like, and and I don't know if just because I'm an observant person, I pick up on bullshit. My bullshit radar ain't never befailed me. Tiffany was making it so obvious. Like, did you check that wall again? <laughs> like, girl, why did you check it again? If you're so worried, like I would have picked up on that. Did you, up on that. did you check that wall? Okay, you don't want to check that wall again over there. All right, but did you check? Did you check that part of the wall though? It's like, girl. And then again, at the same time, Jess, you don't get what she's saying. If it's not a bitch, girl, it's like right there in your face. She wasn't getting it so much mm -hmm. so to wear Q. And Q goddamn dumbass, <laughs> who was like, give me the idol, I'm going to give it to her. Now, this is where I have to fault Jess. Because again, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tiffany trying to lead Jess to this fake immunity idol so she can find it and not play her shot in the dark. Q come up with the idea, okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to give it to her. Now, I don't know why Jess wasn't thinking, because the way Q came up to her, it was all like... It was so obvious. Q runs up to her. Look, no. I, look, I ain't got no time. Hold on to this. I'm going to need you to do it for this, and we're going to be out. Bye. And Jess is like, huh? What do you mean, what? We what? You said do what? It's like, Q, calm down. And, and this like, is so <laughs> off topic. This is so off topic. But I now realize who Q reminds me of. He reminds me of the eighth grade. Black teacher and dazed and confused. <laughs> he said, All y'all are going to come out. Some of y'all ain't coming back. That's who <laughs> killed it. <laughs> like, he's all up in your face, like instant intensity. Because Jess is actually, her mind is sinking, right? So she's like, Wait, why would he do that? And then she's really looking at, <laughs> she's really looking. Oh, I'm like, Jess. And she's like, it's like little, it's like a, a janky ass thing. It has little pieces from all the little stuff from all of our little like water bottles and stuff. It's like, baby, listen to what you're saying. It oh. doesn't look like a real idol. It has pieces from our water bottles on it. Oh, man. Like, why would they make an immunity idol and put your team colors on it? 
Now, that's something I need to remind myself for if I ever show up on the island. Like, Jana, don't fall for it. Don't because fall that, for the janky. It's, if it's janky looking, it ain't real. If it's all got your janky looking, colors, they look half ass because they put it. So anyways, Jess is thinking about, and she's really thinking about, she's telling us and her little talking head, she's talking us through it to the point where she's like, I don't think it's even real. She's putting it all together. So she goes back out to go. She's like, look at me and tell me it's real. Just, just honestly look in my eyes and tell me yes or no, if it's real. And Q's like, Jess, you know what? Give it back to me. <laughs> I hate him. I hate him so much. Uh, I know you would have done that part way better than me, but like, I'm just like, oh. no. And I was Jess. I would have been like, that's a red flag number two right Thank now. You. That's red flag exactly. number two. Why do you want it back if you were just so adamant saying you trust me and all of this? Like, I just, I, you know, but you're in the game. You just don't know which way is even up. So, and then not only that, that's the second, what second or third day there. Why would somebody trust you enough to give you an idol to save you and not themselves? That makes no sense. And it's like, if all the people is going to be Coach Q, like, okay, his name isn't Coach. I just call him we Coach call Q because it was, but like, that's like, of all the people, I don't think I was talking to Coach Q. Oh, maybe, maybe I think I see why, because you know what? Because Coach Q made it very particular. I'm only working with you, Jess, in secret. And remember, Jess told Coach Q about Tiffany and Kenzie's plan. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, by Kenzie and Kenzie's yeah, plan. But see, I still would have been like, anyways, but I get it. I get how she especially, could feel really on that Yeah, fence, especially on that when I go back to you <laughs> and I'm like, that, that, stop bullshitting. Is this for real? You, yes. You know I'm, she said, I know. <laughs> So, me. Like bananas move. That move, give it back. That was a Johnny Bananas move. That was straight oh. Johnny Bananas. <laughs> straight Johnny Bananas. We'll do the challenge. Don't y'all worry. We'll do the oh. challenge. I'm going to talk to you about that. See that you want to do the challenge. It's been a minute since I watched yes, the challenge. Which I have, it's been a minute for me, too. I think it's been about three seasons. So yeah, I've just a couple of seasons. That's but okay. Just I can chew up. I'm pissed off about how the traders ended. I'm pissed <laughs> off about that. So now I got to watch the challenge just because I need some redemption for myself. Because them two bitches didn't deserve to win. I'm sorry. That's a whole nother. I was about a to whole say. nother review for a whole nother show. Because you were like saying, like, weren't they, aren't they getting along? Like, wouldn't Jess, like, what, what would make Jess? Like, if I was Jess, I would have blocked him like MJ did. <laughs> Those two, as soon as y'all voted me off, block, delete, delete, delete. Yeah, I, I don't know you. You don't know me. So I don't know who that man is. That is a whole different. We'll do the trader verse. That's a trader verse. We'll talk. Okay. And survivor verse. We get into we'll it now, okay? We get into so it. Talk about these shows. We'll get back. But just now, there is a lot of. We've seen these moves before. Yes. So, um. Coach Q being all like that, and before you know it, they're heading they're heading to tribal. Mm -hmm. So again, I, I I'm, because there was there was a minute where Coach Q was trying to make a plan to get he Kenzie was gonna out. get Kenzie out. But this is the thing: I think that he knew that Tiffany wouldn't go for that. Not right Not yet. Now. Not because yet. Tiffany, mm -hmm. but thinks there's that room. Kenzie is there's her a little number one. Crack. Yeah, a little bit. Tiffany thinks that Kenzie is her number one. Little does she know the first opportunity Kenzie get, she get that's rid of your coach, ass. That's exactly why coach. That's exactly what coach said to her. He said it. Soon as now, she her, she she's ass. social butterfly on her way through everybody else. She's somebody. <clears throat> don't let that bitch get to emerge. Vote her ass out oh. now while you can. Like some people, you should just emerge. never let get to emerge. Just she don't. Even. <laughs> yep. Do not let her get to emerge because she going to start stabbing. She going to start taking you bitches out one by one. She Left has the potential right. to win it just because she's conniving and she's social like that. She has yeah, all yeah. the potential to win it. All mm -hmm. the potential to win it. Mm -hmm. 
So, okay, so um, we get to tribal council. Banu ass. <laughs> Banu ass is just emotional. He's somebody. Uh, listen, don't make no plans with Banu. This is a second tribal council that we have with Banu where he is already blowing up the spots before we even get to make the damn votes. He and is in the words of Tiffany, never work in with. the words of Tiffany, quit making the block hot. <laughs> You say, quit making the block. You quit making the block. Well, you get your ass voted off this block now. I'm trying to help you. I was with Tiffany on that, like, bruh, don't take his ass to the merge. Get him out. He yes. didn't, if y'all lose another yes. immunity challenge. He's Bobby next. Gotta go. He's got to go, which is so unfortunate because it's I was unfortunate. rooting for him. Like we were rooting for I him. I was too, but, but I, too I, you can't an have an emotional player. person yes. unless you just can't because they're always going to blab the plan. Yes. Yep. He, he's, he's, <laughs> no, he's a good person. I don't know. Maybe work with him on the traders. There, yeah. <laughs> Maybe work with them on the traders. And you know what? He could probably even potentially be a traitor because he's so emotional. He would throw the sin off his damn self. Maybe that's more your route. Okay, so they're all talking, you know, they're at the tribal council. They all, you know how Jeff is asking questions and all. It's going through all this and the other. And again, Banu is basically saying without saying that he's going to vote for Jess or Jess is up for the chopping block. Then he's going around right before it's time to vote. He goes to Jess. It, is the plan still good? Just like he goes to <laughs> your ass down. He goes to Q. Hey, is the plan still good? He goes to Kenzie. Hey, the plan still good? Then he sits down. And Jess is just like, I'm sorry. I'd have played my shot in the dark to have... I, Jess, you should have been thinking. You should have been thinking with your mind, girl. Because <laughs> I would have sacrificed that janky ass immunity idol, and I'd have played my shot in the dark. Because I if agree. You already have that 50 50 feeling like, I don't think this is real. Don't even take the chance. Yeah, no I agree. The there, what, what's, you know, you, what you, at least what try. Losing? What's the, yeah. What are you losing? Yep. So, of course, it comes time to vote and Jess is the one well I take that back before they even do you know how Jeff is if anybody has an immunity idol and you want to play it right now is the time to do so once I reach <laughs> votes is passing and you can't do shit about it I'm Jeff, I got some coach yeah oh, like, is not an not immunity idol I said well, you have to do it like Maury why well, you have to do it like you are not the father you are not the father you do not have an immunity idol no and then of course Jess just looks at Q and Q is like <laughs> he ain't slick he ain't slick Q you ain't sleazy Q slick Q and you know, sick. like I said, I'm rooting for everybody black, but Q, I he's he's not one that's gonna make it. He's I, just, I he's just muscle. He's and that's what I was just gonna he's say. They're the gonna brain. keep him around for the mm -hmm. muscle. Mm -hmm. Does he have the potential to win the show? That's what he said no. that's what Kenzie said. Kenzie said we need to keep him for because he's strong, but we need to get rid of Jess because she's weak. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Jess got voted out. Okay. She got voted out. She's gone. I feel bad for her. She wasn't ready though. She she no. she wasn't ready. She was not ready. I don't know how many episodes of Survivor she watched, but she should have watched from season one, episode one, all the way up <laughs> to season forty five. Just watch the ones with Siri. No. Just do the ones with Siri. Ceri I mean, phenomenal. Sandra. Sorry, you me. need to watch Siri. Parvati, I mean, Parvati and Boston Rob. Boston Rob. Those are the ones you need to watch if you want to know how to win the game of Survivor. Do the homework. Ceri, Sandra, Boston Rob, for sure. Them the ones I. I mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Parvati, you can't go Parvati. wrong with 
Mm-hmm. Can't go wrong. Cannot go wrong. So that was the end of the episode there. Um, I like this episode. I got very frustrated with it. I mean, I, I give it, I give it an eight <laughs> out of ten because it, it was a good, it was a good episode. But I was very frustrated. Banu had me frustrated. Banu. Oh my goodness! You gotta yes. go. Mental breakdowns, yeah, definitely part of a survivor standard. Yeah, your survivor standards. You had your uh, advantage found. You had the fake immunity trickeroo. Mm-hmm. You had the wild tribal council where somebody actually got up and whispered in other people's ears, which is something yeah, new we've like seen in episode. the last. <laughs> we're not even <laughs> like <laughs> we're, <laughs> this is, we're already here with it. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, this was something that we've, uh, he was so, he was so attacked to the idea that he, cause that's what it was. He was also on the chopping block because his name was being spread around saying that he was too emotional. So he was acting out on that being emotional because he said in his whole life, he's always called being told that he's emotional. Then the first vote was read out and it was Banu and this fool picked up his little water bottle and he got his little water and ready. (laughs) (laughs) And then the second vote said Jess and he's like, what? And then what's he said? I bet he just was like, like, I know. (laughs) Probes, he said, Second person to be voted out. He took his little purse off. He was like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my bad, girl. I was like, Bonnie, you ain't shit. That's, I'm sorry, girl. Girl, just Bonnie, read the room, man. No, he's going to be the next to go. They probably will the challenge to get him off. Because he that showed his be- ass, like you said. You can't take an emotional person like that. No, he's going to blow up the spot. He going to tell only- everybody. Mm-mm. The only way you could probably take somebody is you would take somebody like him. I, I can't think of the guy's name, but he was like the secret agent and like the FBI agent. And like his sister had to confirm on the reunion, the black guy from years ago, like seasons ago, like from like 2011 or like, oh. uh, yeah, like 2011. He, and, um, um, he was weird, but, uh, <laughs> he was, the final three or final two because he was mm-hmm. just he was a wild card yeah it is a strategy but i think banu's too emotional to no. be the wild card final mm-hmm. three there are yeah, strategies you know. to take the wild one with you but only mm-hmm. if you're i think you have to be a seasoned player i think it was a boston rob season mm-hmm. i think it was a boston mm-hmm. rob season he came back and this is when the fbi agent was like on his tribe or <laughs> I can't remember. Whenever we forget, we'll bring it to you next week. Yeah, because we'll I tell see you him, he's doing I, I don't know his Yeah, name. like kind of bald head. Yes, yes, I know he's, but I can't remember his name. He was yeah, a little like, bit older, gentleman, right? Yes, yes. yes, yes. I can't remember his name though. But, <laughs> I mean, the, the the only way you could successfully take Bonnie with him, you're gonna always have to throw him off with a different plan. You yeah, let him know the plan. Plan plant, exactly. Yeah, you gotta you gotta give him the the. An a seasoned person or somebody yeah. who has really studied Survivor could do something like that. Like maybe Maria or yeah. somebody like Tevin maybe because or like Venus even. Like Venus could be like, oh, Banu, you're so caring. Yeah. Because <laughs> the, the right you. person, like you said, the right person, they could carry him and that could be an extra vote with them all the way to the final four. Oh, yeah. Give them one time and they're a parasite. That's it. You just got to save them one time. You just got to be loyal one and time. Can, yeah, and person. you can potentially use him to vote with you all the way to the end. And you can even throw use them to the fire making contest. Their own ass out. You can use them to get their own ass out. That you can whole- take him. Go ahead. <laughs> you can, I mean, you can even take him to the final three and argue the fact that. I carried him this whole time. Look how this nice I never am. Made no, any moves on their own. <laughs> they never made moves on their own. I carried them the whole time. I mean, we've seen that in Survivors before, where you we got saw- this person that was basically riding with him the whole time to the final three. 
just for them to get to the final three and either the rest of the tribe is not even mm -hmm. asking this person questions because you didn't do anything the whole time you were just a drifter you just came along or they are questioning you like what did you do what moves did you make you just voted along with what everybody else did so i mean have you a plan. Go either way that's why you got to maintain way. your own game that's why you got to maintain your own game because mm -hmm. you're going to write your own damn name before you even know it you don't even remember who you are like the time that one man, the last man, it was, I think, Parvati, Sari, and like it was like three women. And mm -hmm. he, they convinced that fool to give him the <laughs> immunity the necklace. Immunity necklace. Yes. And, they and, they and they got his ass out. I'm like, men are stupid. You just solidified why men are stupid. Not all of you. But a lot of yes. It was, it was it. I'm like, what an idiot. Sari yeah. is Sari, Sandra, and Parvati are three of the best Just women to ever, ever do it. To ever, ever do it. To really survivor. make this their game. That's the potential ice we see in Maria. That's the potential we see in Venus and Tiffany. Those you three. You know what they need to have, like five. if they were to have a survivor. If they were to have a survivor like that with Sari, Parvati, Sandra, a Boston Rob in there, um, make another you know, stars, yes, like with the with the heavy hitters in there, the two cops. You remember the 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 the, the two cops that won? Yes, yes, <laughs> they were good too. That would be that. Or would be even a what was that man's name? Russell. That was the man's what? name I couldn't think last time. Just, just out on the island and just sniff out the immunity idol. Just sniff, sniff, sniff. He every time he came back to camp, he's like, I found another immunity. <laughs> I, I found another one. <laughs> like, I would love to see Russell back because his nephew didn't do him justice. Bring the original back. Cause sometimes these players be families cool, come in. But they don't live up yeah. to the original family member. But that would be wonderful. That would be so great. So if they ever have a Survivor Soul Sister, we got to go in there. We just got to you know, get somebody to gonna, do the swimming challenges for I us. I got my buoys. I got my floaties on. Yeah. We got to we gotta be and able I got to my own I, I can get my hair wet. I can get my hair wet. But this is the thing. Can't nobody know that we cool outside of the game. We got to act like we don't know, know each other. I don't know why we know each other because we're black. Isn't this racist? Isn't this racist? I thought, yeah, we use sign. Yeah, that's use what I'm saying. Sign. You teach me sign language so mm -hmm. they can talk and they don't even know it. That is so racist. How are the two black women supposed? <laughs> and then we have the final two. <laughs> What's the money? But no. oh, no, 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 y'all didn't no, no, even no. know it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sala, so we're gonna get up out of here. I hope y'all yeah, enjoyed our sister soul, sister survivor review. Yes, I love it. Join us um Saturday. We'll have was the new episode is coming out this week. Of course, we will have the episode up to you guys by the end of the week. If there's anything that we miss, y'all already know what to do. Drop a comment down below and let us know. And we hope you guys enjoyed our review, okay? Until next time, this is we got to get us some outro and intro music, like we said. Get us some Jeff Pro I'm going to work on that for the next time. Probesy. e e e All right, we out. We love y'all. Love you. Y'all have a good one.